Namaste, so family, Sky Goddess, and I just want to say that coming Friday, uh, Friday is going to mark the beginning of a very hard time for most people. Um, I understand the frequencies, the energies, you know, in regards to the transits, and so you know i'm not going to i'm just not going to um tell people what they want to hear but i'm just gonna say what is gonna happen because of what i know for a fact based on what i understand about the transits okay so a lot of times you may say certain things that seem really you know depressing or you know people may say negative but how can the truth be negative the truth is the truth and you know that's it you know i mean like if, even if i tell you a lie like like a lot of like a lot of astro i'm not gonna say astrologers mostly intuitives who like feed people a lot of lies about you know oh this wonderful thing is gonna happen for you and you're like you're like you know you have this false sense of optimism that something good is going to happen for you and it doesn't and then you start to you know debunk uh spirituality and say oh it's, it's you know a whole bunch of garbage blah 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 but that's because like you allowed yourself to fall for an illusion and now truth you you must you must except that which is true whether or not it is something you want to hear so like uh friday um which is the 5th of november like um we got venus entering capricorn and we got mercury entering um scorpio so we got this the the second and the seventh house um the third and the sixth house okay so yeah four houses the frequencies are shifting for four houses on friday and that's gonna be major because like everybody's gonna be affected by those shifting of frequencies like even with mars because mars is like how we deal with conflict it's transiting scorpio now so a lot of fuckery taking place you know a lot of perversion and a lot of you know you know sick and twisted deeds being done you know some of you you're gonna actually be hearing of these you know these um psychotic happenings some of you are gonna be like um be caught up in some of these um some of you may be victim um to some of these some of you may be the villains um you may hear it on the news or blah 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 but whatever it is you know um it's gonna affect everybody in some way shape or form and you know dealing with mars and mars well mars transits in scorpio it's like people not really thinking before they do things um people just like also like some of the crimes that will be taking place is gonna take place because you know out of like a lot of like what it call um crimes of passion like like um people who's been like you know hating on you who never really for forgave you like they're gonna like it's like this frequency is like pretty much like i don't want to say give them give them the courage but put them in a very delusional state of thinking that it makes sense which it doesn't to you know act on certain feelings or you know their impulses you know because like mars is also impulsive it's like you know um a lot of times when people got errors which is you know um the frequency of mars a lot of times people when they you know got a lot of aries highly aspected in their natal chart they tend to be very anxious you know and you know prone to you know anxiety attacks and stuff like that 
Um, but then again, we want to consider that Scorpio, um, prior to Pluto being discovered, Scorpio was also ruled by Mars. Some people still got it like that because astronomically, um, Pluto is for some of these astronomers is well it's for astronomers overall is no longer a planet like the fuck like to me pluto still is a planet it still is a planet the ruler of scorpio but for some astronomers and probably astrologers it's not so <laughs> they're back at mars being the planet the ruling planet for Aries and Scorpio. Okay, so they got similar energies. And speaking of that, Tuesday, Diaz Maltese, which is tomorrow, is the day of Aries and Scorpio, or the day ruled by Aries and Scorpio, Pluto and Mars, Hades and Aries. Okay, so before then, that I'm doing this video part to tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Which is today, so, um, Mars, Mars and Scorpio, okay, a lot of sexual activity, let me just say that, and like, you know, for some people, you know, um, for some people, like, Mars and Scorpio, it also has a flip side to it, like, okay, I don't even want to call it a flip side, but like, Mars and Scorpio frequencies, like, like god i smell something really horrible I, i've been like saying i don't like these places it's so fucking toxic i mean like what the fuck is burning like this blood got all of the night what is burning let me see what time it is it's 10 52 the fuck is burning it smells like um some electrical wire um it smells like copper or it's it's I'm telling you, like, the air pollution in these areas of the island is, like, the number one killer than anything else. Okay? For real, for real. Yeah. Damn. I, I can hardly breathe, guys. Where was I? So, Mars and Scorpio. Damn. Mm-mm. I can't fucking believe it that the air smells like this. This is just so not right. This don't. my god okay let me continue my video my apologies guys bumble god no man <laughs> so mars in mars in um scorpio like you know um there's another aspect to it like well <laughs> well you can take this in 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 in, in a variety of ways like like you know using sex as a not just a way to manipulate people but using sex um sila okay so that's right i don't know what uh, okay i think it was the vehicle that just passed that triggered that car alarm okay anyway mars and scorpio so Mars and Scorpio is like pretty much using sex. Well, 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 it's like using sex to deal with conflict. So like, for example, like for some people, rather than like attacking your partner and so on and so on, when they piss you off, you may rather want to fuck the shit out of them. For some people, this can be like, um, this can actually be like, I, it's like I'm an alien poison, guys. It's like, it's really bothersome. For some people, it is like, um, I can't live here. I feel like I will just, like, walk out and just, like, live on the streets. Like, somewhere with fresh air, as long as it's fresh air. Because, like, I don't like this bumblecloth place. It's like, like, I don't know. It's so sad that these people, they spend so much money to live in, you know, 
these places and it's like paying for their deaths like their early graves which we're gonna get into that in regards to the aspect but like mars and scorpio is also i have to be like covering my nose and and and, and while speaking you know so okay it's like also like you're pissed at your partner and you want to like you, you, you decide to cheat on them. That's your way of getting back at them, like cheating on them. So it's also that frequency. It's a really spiteful frequency. But like those who's got more self-control may actually, you know, use it, you know, to engage in more sexual activities. Like a lot of, you know, <laughs> some people may call it toxic sex. Toxic sex, okay? So yeah it's also that frequency it is also a frequency of you know being um slow to forgive because like scorpio that's like still water it's, 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 it doesn't really flow it's like harboring resentment so like your emotions like you know when people offend you you're not really allowing that to flow unless like you really have like sex that's like the only way that can really like kind of flow out but like if you're not actively having sex or you're not having sex with your partner you may that you may take that you may manifest that energy in a completely different way or manipulate that them energies mars um, the Aries Scorpio free, um, energy is completely different. Like, you know, cheating on your partner, having sex with someone else, or like killing your partner and shit. So a lot of revenge, I feel like a lot of cheating is going to take place during this transit, a lot of cheating, like that started when Saturday, so a lot of cheating. So we can't expect that, that's very so toxic. Yeah, so, yeah. So a lot of cheating and stuff like that. Also, I like people just like like tempers or like like you said like it's really a very unforgiving frequency. So like if your partner discovers that you did something like say for example like even if it's the teeny tiniest lie or you know betrayal, it's like the fucking world like you did worst thing ever. And, you know, that's going to lead to the end of a lot of relationships, a lot of marriages, people like moving out of their, you know, um, marital homes and stuff like that. People kicking people out like, bitch, get the fuck out of my house. Ninja, get out of my house. Leave my house. To the left, to the left. And everything you own in a box to the left. In the closet. You feel what I'm trying to say? So it's that kind of frequency. Just really petty really spiteful and shit like that also is also there's an upside to that frequency you know like rolling like a g because you got the d okay the dollar dollar billies that's what i mean okay i'm not talking like d-i-c-k okay but like that could be but like yeah like, like if you got a good d and shit like that but like okay that's like Double entendre. Okay, I got flow. Okay, I do write songs and shit. Okay, visit my Queen Sia YouTube channel and, you know, like my videos. I, well, I think, I, I think, I think I, uh, I took off the, 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 um, the like, dislike, um, option and the commenting because, like, where my music is concerned, like, I don't really want anybody's opinion, like, go listen to that shit, or just don't, but, like, I'm gonna just say, listen to my music, and, you know, share my music, you don't have to like it, you don't have, <laughs> I mean, like, in terms of the like button, you don't have to touch, 
any like button doesn't really matter just like share my shit listen share it blah 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 but anyways let me get back onto my flow like spending all your lovers spending on your spouse spending on spend just spending yo yeah so like people who got money they're gonna want to like splurge for some people for some if you're not a miser but even if you're a miser maybe you know it's like scorpio is transformative so that could actually make you want to do the things that you didn't normally do so if you were a, a miser my g like you know that may make you want to spend on the v okay so um that too all right so it's gonna play out differently for everybody even if we got similar aspects like for example even if we got our sun in the same frequency moon rising even if we got our 12 houses in similar frequencies that that does not mean that the aspects are gonna mean the same for you and I because you got karma okay karma so like that's like going back to what I was saying initially at the beginning of this video you got people they think that okay because of, you know i'm a virgo too like that's gonna happen for me during this particular transit and that's not so my g karma okay determines like if this aspect is going to be beneficial to you or not okay so it's like you know like i said scorpio is transformative so it's like a flip of the script okay so it's like um those who are underneath coming on top if they deserve to be on top and those who are on top going underneath if they deserve to be underneath so you see what i'm trying to say that's what i mean okay so karma plays a major role in regards to whether or not that beautiful intuitive message or astrological uh, message that you listen to is for you or not or if that you know judgment okay is for you or not karma determines that and what is karma those are like energies that you manifested in your own life based on how you treated other people and how you treat other people so pretty much your karma is your own fault <laughs> yeah that's your karma that's pretty much what it is yeah so like at the end of the day it's not like damn you robbed me you give me this karma you give me this fate no we are in that sense in charge of our fates and destinies by how we treat other people like eventually you will get what's yours in time whether that's when you're 30 31 32 40 you will get what do you, you okay and what kind of you know karma that will be depends on what you did you know prior to you know you, the scales being weighed by mott okay liberal frequency you know justice and balance okay well justice aquarius is balance okay so yeah some people they get their jupiter which is your reward um you know before 30 years old some they get it afterwards some is after 40 it all depends on your natal aspects when you're do your jupiter okay we're not all the same some they were born with fame and you know let me not say fame born in wealth okay pretty much how that goes for them is you know how uh well of decisions they make or you know bad decisions that they make determines you know if that will last or if they will eventually become poor okay so um at the end of the day you decide okay so yeah you got people it's their destiny to become like um the first millionaire in their family the first billionaire the first trillionaire okay and it's like they are like the initiator or the starter of of wealth in their family so you find that 
you know, their offsprings, their children, they become really wealthy, they, they, they are born into wealth, or they acquire wealth because of their parent or their parents, okay? So, yeah. So yeah, I was just I just had a moment. I'm just like thinking about something. Yeah, so you you, you know, you got people who were born in poverty, and eventually eventually they you know it's like in their destiny to acquire great wealth and then you find that you know that passes you know down to their you know descendants you call that generational wealth and then you know so on and so forth so when you see people born in wealthy families don't hate on them because like their forefathers their foremothers they put in the work you can't hate them and like expect that all their descendants all their children are supposed to work equally as hard as they have or they had you know it's it's not fair when you make smart decisions it benefits your descendants which eventually benefits you in some reincarnation kind of way okay so like um you know Friday specifically I just want to say this it, it's it marks a, a very restrictive period um, we're gonna go back into lockdown very soon also a lot of sickness a lot of you know death like I was like saying in a, um, a video that I think I uploaded that to my sky goddess infinity Inc Instagram account so that would be like further down on this YouTube channel um, probably it would be amongst the videos I posted in October. No, look at this. October just passed. Um, it would have been like uh, August, September, August, like early September, August, they're about okay. Um, yeah, them, you know, set of videos. So it's not being, you know, pessimistic. It's just like the this 12 year transit that we're in plus. Plus the aspects that the trend the aspects that we're entering, okay. Um Venus second and seventh house in Capricorn and Mercury third and sixth house in Scorpio. And we currently are transiting. Um Mars is currently transiting, I should say, the frequency of Scorpio. So yeah. Frequencies and energies, baby. Some people are going to be losing support, changes to your jobs, changes to your reputation, your 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 family, your relatives, people dying, like most of like older people, like mothers and grandfathers, like people 40 years and older, mostly those people. Of course, some people will be losing children, like when I say children, like preteens, you know, children a lot of sacrificial um deaths too like just like be careful of that shit that's crazy Like people doing a lot of spiteful things and thinking that's gonna make them feel better it's a lot of theft also 
people taking people's shit by force and stuff like that. Um... The daytime theft too. <laughs> Can you imagine? Well, we can understand how that is so because like we got curfew, okay? Which begins at 8 p.m. So daytime theft also um, a lot of you know discussing with business new business you know contracts uh, also relocating you know you know people relocating mostly so they can have their peace of mind like people are in toxic environments like this motherfucking one okay yeah shit like that also a lot of fear a lot of you know the resurrecting of a lot of people's phobias and stuff like that also um a lot of um fears surrounding death sickness and death also reconciliations like people reconciling with their exes like people who they they've broken up with But a lot of these reconnections are pretty much going to be out of out of mere spite. People trying to spite their current partners and shit. It still make no fucking sense. But is that Mars and you know Scorpio being really spiteful? People trying to spite their exes too, that's just like really petty. It's a very spiteful frequency. Like even in the you know, the household like dealing with you know siblings, relatives. You know, it's just a really petty, spiteful frequency. People wanting to, a lot of you know, show off frequency, which people got to be careful where that is concerned because a lot of people are going to set themselves up as a, you know, bait to be robbed. Okay? A lot of people are going to get robbed because of, you know, being too, you know, revealing and, you know, just, just sh show off. Just, especially like you got to know, you know when to do certain things because under certain transits you are just setting yourself up for a fall a great fall like during this transit you want to try not to show off too fucking much okay mm -hmm. also a lot of fear like in like starting new relationships like I feel like a lot of people are going to be afraid that it's going to be like their last relationship. Oh, that ninja, that bitch. She's just trying to use me for my dough. He's just trying to use me for my nookie. Okay? A lot of that. He's just trying to kill me. Damn. He's trying to sacrifice me. Like, so, like I said, a lot of phobias, you know, resurrecting of phobias. You know, people, you know, certain fears that you, you got, you know, PTSD. Let's talk about that. Like, like you got PTSD. A lot of people got PTSD. Unbeknownst to them, a lot of us got PTSD. I feel like we all, 
I don't want to say all, but because like it's so sad to say we all suffer from some form of PTSD. But I just got to say that in some way, shape or form, we all suffer from some form of PTSD. Whether it's that you are, you know, fearful that this guy who you just started talking to is just using you for your nookie. He's not going to stick around. He's just going to use you and then you just, you just going to sample the nookie and then he's just gonna like um disrespect you and shit like your ex did or he's gonna try to sacrifice you and steal your songs like your ex did or you know um shit like that also like i'm just like putting you know <laughs> my experience out there <laughs> but you know what best you know to use than you know my own experience you feel me which i i'm sure some other people can experience it can you know relate to that you know, but also, um, then you got those men who, you know, they were with gold digging bitches, you know, like, damn, I wonder if she's just with me for my dough. I wonder if she got love to show. You feel what I'm trying to say? So, yeah. So, people are going to be like, it's, it's, it's a slow moving frequency because of the density of Scorpio, uh, still water, you know, just kind of stagnant it just hardly moves anywhere or flows because it's weighed down by fear like fear is so heavy it's weighed down by fear and so people are going to be slow to communicate tying that in with mercury and scorpio and they're going to be slow to support like if you're a woman and you're with a guy he's going to be like slow to support you financially if he's like the one who's got a job and you don't because like he's still in that fearful he's no the fearful the fear of being used is being resurrected because of the mars and scorpio okay so it's, it's such a sensitive time scorpio is such a sensitive frequency you have no fucking idea like Scorpios, they act all big and bad and bougie and shit like that. But they're so sensitive on the inside. And that's why it's so hard for them to move on. And that's why they don't flow like Cancer or or Pisces. Like, they're like, Scorpios, like, Scorpio, they, they seem as though, they're really emotional. Let me just say that. And, you know, they, you know, are most of the times, if not all, consumed by their thoughts. And a lot of times, those thoughts are toxic as fuck. I'm talking specifically like a sun in Pisces. Not a sun in Pisces. Fuck, is that an omen? I'm talking specifically about a, well, could be sun in Pisces too. Yeah, sun in Pisces people, they hardly seldomly forgive. I'm just saying it's the truth okay so I guess that's an omen but I, what I really meant to say was Sun in Scorpio and North Node in Scorpio but also Scorpio rising like Scorpio anywhere Scorpio is such a dense heavy frequency that it is so bold and prominent anywhere in your chart like even if you just got your Venus in Scorpio that motherfucker shows on you that you got Scorpio somewhere. And that's how dense and heavy that Scorpio frequency is. So whether you got it in in Mercury or you got it in, you know, um, Venus or your Mars or, you know, it don't really like it matter. Okay, or your North Node or your Rising or your Sun or your Chinese Astrological Year, you know, that shit go. You're slow to move on from shit. You're slow to heal. You're slow to heal. Because, like, you're so super sensitive. And, you know, like I said, you tend to, a lot of, if you're a Scorpio listening, they, well, let me just speak third person. Like, if, like, if they, like, um, they tend to give into their thoughts. And they're so, like, like I said, they're super sensitive however whatever toxic shit they're thinking they tend to feel that and that which they feel they tend to show that they they wear that 
all over themselves like they, they wear it on their bodies and it really does affect them it really does affect them. Sometimes you can look and tell when someone got Scorpio highly aspected. Especially if they're ascending Scorpio or they were born in the year of the goat. Because that shows on them. And so, you know, I'm going to have to do a completely different video. Like how to heal as a Scorpio. How does a Scorpion heal? I'm going to have to do a completely different video. okay but they're so sensitive and you know that's that's the frequency we're in now you know it's not easy as you know we traverse and go down this transit okay i don't know i think um scorpio i think mars enters sag is that november 24 i'm not sure sometime in november so like as we you know you know travel throughout you know you know the month of November as we go further down you know um the month of November it's not going to be that bad no it's not going to be that bad um because the the deacons consider okay so like the first half is just going to be like you know um the hardest okay um the first and the last half. So I'm gonna say like the middle, like the middle of November isn't gonna be that bad. No. There's gonna be like like the calm in the middle of the storm in the middle of November. But like the you know, the first of November, like now, the first week and then the last, you know, going to the last week. Like uh let me just say like probably about the 18th through to the 24th that's gonna those are gonna be the hardest times and like you know from saturday through to next weekend it's gonna be um hard too yeah but like the two weeks between those you know those weeks those weeks that i mentioned um those you know period of time they're not gonna be that bad okay because energies they shift that, that you got to understand okay okay so um you know a lot of harsh communication to spite and to hurt and to break and so you know gotta be careful you know gotta be careful A lot of sex talk, a lot of sex communication, you know, and talking a lot about sex and all of them shit, you know, you know, also, you know, talking about hurtful things, like things that hurt you, like things from your past, you know, like reopening, you know, wounds and just like, because it's that Scorpio frequency that seldomly and hardly or finds it hard to move on. And so, you know. Things happen and that just really remind you of a particular time in your life that was so hard, you know, or this is like, you know, you come across videos or people, Sila, who, you know, um, are actually at a point in their life, you know, or were at a place, a point in their life that reminds you of a horrible past experience that's going to really bring you to tears. And I actually... The honest truth is I actually experienced that um, I think this morning when you know which was shortly after I posted that um, that video titled um, macro official real women love other women okay so yeah hashtag love so uh, I was led to do that video because I no, uh, a lot of people you know may have bad stuff to say about her but like for me um i read the underdogs like i'm i don't go where the crowd goes like because everybody you know is like you know real in for you i'm a real for you like you know a lot of times i'm directed by spirit towards someone who's like you know people maybe was someone who was hot now they're not or you know it's someone who's just not hot and you know people don't you know don't 
see them, don't value them. And like, I just, you know, connect my frequencies to theirs and like, you know, it's like me, you know, giving them a jump start and stuff. Like, I notice like every time when someone crosses my mind, whether this is a celebrity who like, is just like seemingly faded into the background or in the darkness, or this is just, just a random person. I just all of a sudden like start hearing news about them or start hearing a buzz about them again and it's like damn did i resurrect you or something but yeah yeah so but i'm gonna do a video on you know healing scorpio i may call it healing scorpio or how to heal scorpion like i don't know let me see okay um I'm just, you know i'm just like not in that frequency where I'm like bash people and stuff like that because at the end of the day what good is that gonna do anybody she's a really sweet girl and I you know I was like feeling so down I was like glad since Saturday to watch some of her videos and you know she made me laugh and you know it wasn't laughing at her but it was laughing with her and it was she 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 made me feel so good she made me feel so good you know like Sometimes the people who people consider is not much or not valuing much or is no bodies like they tend to like spark your plug or to just they just lift your frequency way more than the intellects or the people who got so many plaques on their walls or the people who got so many degrees or the people who got you know so much so much money or the people who got so many friends or you know you know what i mean or you know the quote unquote beautiful people <laughs> fuck is this so we got like you know and 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 i i had to like give her props because she made me happy she don't fucking know me i actually saw her once like i remember a point in my time when i was really happy and um someone who i met who was who's from germany um, he actually, you know, took me out on a date and, you know, we went to Hope Gardens and afterwards we went to Devon house and he, you know, he, he treated me well. And like, we were just there eating ice cream. He didn't know who she was, but like I saw her and I'm like, she really looked really sexy and really beautiful. And I hope she never bleaches her skin because I love her skin. It's flawless skin. Beautiful skin is not light pigmented. It is having even, even, evenly toned, you know, just a balanced skin where, you know, there are no hyper pigmentation. It's just like just one, one tone from your head all the way down to your feet. And that's what I consider beautiful skin. It doesn't matter what the fuck your shade is. It doesn't matter you know what your complexion is is just pretty uh pretty much well complexion complexion does that have to do with hyperpigmentation well okay maybe complexion so you, you got to have a balanced complexion it, it's just not you know shifty or wishy-washy or hyperpigmented skin or stuff like that not saying that people got hyperpigmented skin which i do got hyperpigmented skin not saying that we're not beautiful but i'm saying what i think the ideal beautiful skin is is flawless whether it's dark skin or light skin don't fucking matter okay and i saw her and she was like bum like that i'm like damn my crew top yeah so yeah i i really appreciate her and i it made me feel kind of bad because like i used to put down like people who like you know didn't have good grandma and stuff like that and you know this is a learning experience for me because it is the spiraling staircase like you know relearning shit that i already learned because i'm sure i already learned that i should never judge a book by its cover or you know its demeanor and shit like that but here i am relearning that and i'm happy because i feel like at a point in my life i was like connected to toxic people and i feel like i'm not blaming anybody but i'm just showing you how important it is to be careful who you have sex with and who you get involved with 
you know um i feel like i was like at that point in my life i was with a very discriminatory you know um discriminative okay and i like spirit you know to, before i continue spirit brought me to this point in my life where like i was tripping i was messing up on my grammar and it was like me learning like hey see why you should not judge but like i feel like at the time when i was in that frequency i was you know involved with someone who's just really hateful and discriminative and just really you know nitpicky and that eventually rubbed off on me because i am a heyoka empath meaning like i pretty much mirror my partner so like if you are arrogant if you are you know selfish self-centered i pretty much absorb that and reflect that and it's as though i'm you and it's it's how I've been in all my relationships and so I gotta really be careful like hey yoka empaths gotta be careful who they connect with because connecting with the wrong person you eventually become toxic if you connect with someone who's toxic you eventually become toxic if you're a um a, a yoka empath okay sometimes they use and sometimes they use a for h with with h Okay, so a Aoka empath or an Aoka empath, however you want to say it. it really, there are no like um, um, strict rules where using an or a uh, with H. I noticed that. So, anyways, um, yeah. So I I realized like I you know since the relationship ended and I you know. Like, you know, I've been, like, purging. I noticed, like, I'm, like, returning to myself. And it's, like, you know, I've been, like, stripping away all that person's energies. And I find myself being my sensitive, empathic, vulnerable self again. And I like this because I don't want to be bitchy. I don't want to be obnoxious. I don't want to be self-centered. I don't want to be vain. No. I don't want to be opportunistic. That's never been me. That's never me. You know, um, yeah. I mean, like, if I was, I think I would have gotten there already, like, to the top. And then fall so fast, faster than I got there on my butt. Because that's how it goes when, you know, you, you do things the wrong way, you know. Um, whatever success or wealth you acquire, you know, quick and easy, you lose it um likewise the same way quick and easy and so you know slow and steady does win the race so yeah but that person was really 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 toxic like so toxic and it's like you know it's like now like these past few days I've, i'm like really realizing that that person is like the most obnoxious person i feel like i actually met the devil like, if you go and listen to the air signs reading that I did for Fuck Don't I Know readings and, you know, how I started that, which I was supposed to re rewrite or repen, you know, um, I don't want to really call it poetry, but a form of poetry that I kind of did at the beginning of that video. Um, but, like, that was really beautiful. And, I, you know, the more I think about it, I realize i came i literally came in contact with the devil but i i beat him i won i won how did i win i'm gonna do a video on that so i'm gonna i'm just gonna leave this right here namaste guys Mwah.